Bob Dalton. That's me. Hey, I'm Rex Balsam from the Banner. Well, he went to baseball camp one summer. He injured his shoulder and he had to get it repaired. Well, he was saying that we had a lot in common before he left, you know, and when he came back, not so much. He, uh, he made new friends. They weren't really in my crowd, you know. I'm sorry, you look familiar. Do you, do you ever do TV? Nope, never. Is, uh, where was this camp? It was Wyoming. No, no, you know, wait, I mean, wait a minute, that's where I've seen you before. You're the guy who said Tate was gay. Tell him if I find out he's using my name in connection with another bogus story about Tate, I'll sue his ass all the way to welfare. You know, you really need to get a door on this place. Yeah, but where are the friends at? Whoa! Watch it! I saw you standing here. You're obviously interested in her. Who is she? What? You're obviously interested in her. Who is she? I don't know the first thing about her. And I could care less. Your phone just received pussy shots. <laughs> don't. Who is she? Like I said, I don't know the first thing about her and I could care less. It's my brother's birthday, I'm here for him. Pictures are arriving every three or four seconds. Listen, I got done with work and I came here afterwards to meet up with him. When I got here, I was talking to this girl. She had a girlfriend with her. I started talking to her to keep her occupied. Like a wingman, you know? Who is she? <laughs> I'm gonna kick her ass. <laughs> Why is it always an issue when I talk to somebody of the opposite sex? You are a cocktail waitress at a swanky hotel. I come there every day, and there are always these ballers that sit there, and they drink their drinks, and they hang out, and they look at the hot little waitresses in their short sleeve shirts and their high heeled boots and those shorts that go all the way up your asshole. <laughs> asshole. I've seen you flirt with them. <laughs> go go fuck, fuck yourself. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. I'm gonna fucking kick the shit out of her. I do not like the way she's looking at me, and I do not like the way she's looking at you. And I do not like the fact that you were here in a bar at four o'clock in the morning drinking when you're supposed to be home with me. 
and you didn't answer any of my texts. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, I didn't answer your text. I texted you 10 minutes ago saying I missed you. Uh-huh. And you know what I got I'm back sure from you? Add syrup. No. <laughs> I was answering your question from before. More syrup. You misunderstood. You were answering my question from before? Whatever. I understand just fine. Now we're back to the same place. The same motherfucking stupid ass place we always end up at. You know what? These are always double standards with you. Huh? I'm done. You're done. Yeah. You're done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, 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 I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. These pictures are so provocative, they're the best ones you've ever seen. Keep going. Don't. Cut. Nice. <laughs>